Hi, I'm Carl Hall, and today I'm talking essentials. We're gonna make a pie dough. Not just any pie dough, the pie dough. The flakiest, the most tender pie dough to make your pies sing. You ready to get started? So I've already cubed up my two sticks of butter and that's in the fridge. While the butter is chilling, we're gonna make our water solution. I'm gonna put sugar and salt in the water. So I'm gonna stir that. Now I'm gonna put this water in the fridge because everything that you use for your pie dough has to be cold. The water, including the butter. Now let's measure the flour. So before you measure your flour, you want to aerate it. You're aerating it because flour just sort of drops to the bottom. And if you measure your flour when it's not aerated, you may have one or two tablespoons more and it throws off the ratio of wet to dry. Now I'm going to measure two and a quarter cups. So I'm just spooning my flour into the cup, aerating as I go along. Now be careful not to measure and then you do this. A lot of times people will go, so all the work that we just did by aerating the flour, then you have to do over again. So now I have to start over. Do you have to start over? Okay, let's start over together. All right, so I'm spooning this in, and you can tell how light the flour is. And you're gonna fill all those holes, and it's okay if it goes high like that, even if you make a mess, that's okay. And you take a straight edge, and you just level that off. I didn't get this before and sometimes my recipes wouldn't be consistent. Obviously weight is more consistent, but I think most people have cups and measuring spoons. Now let's level that off. And you're gonna put your straight edge right on the cup like that. You got that? So that goes in there. And now, last quarter cup. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that our flour is measured, let's grab our butter. Butter has water in it. When the butter is cold, when it goes into the oven, it steams, and that steam actually puffs up your, your flour or your pastry. If it is warm, that means when it goes into the hot oven, it's gonna weep. And that's when sometimes when you're baking and you get all of this butter at the bottom of your pan, we don't want that. We wanna alleviate it as much as possible. So I have my butter pieces. I'm gonna put them into the flour, and it's nice and cold, but I don't want it too cold because then it won't break up. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that my butter pieces are all separated, and you wanna make sure that they're coated in the flour because if the butter isn't coated in the flour, when it hits the paddle, it will stick to the paddle. What's gonna happen with the paddle is gonna press the butter and the flour is going to be cut into the butter. So we add the paddle attachment. So I get that all ready. Now I'm gonna grab my water. Now again, the reason we want the water to be cold is because we don't wanna warm up the butter. We've done all of this work to have our cold butter and so we want the cold water to keep everything cold. So we're gonna start the mixer and then I'm gonna dump the water all at once. And I'm stirring that to make sure that any undissolved sugar or salt is all dissolved. And here we go. All of that's getting mixed. As soon as this comes together, our crust is just about done. For our Sunday suppers, my grandmother made a buttermilk pie and she made peach cobbler. And that pie crust was so flaky. And I, I think as a kid, you would usually leave the pie crust. Like my sister, she left the pie crust. The top of the pie crust, I ate hers. Mm -hmm. Because it was so flaky and so delicious. And so whenever I am making a pie, I'm always thinking about my grandmother. And I want my pie crust to be so delicious that even a child wants to eat the top of that crust. Look at that coming together. And that's it. Now you can see here that the butter pieces are still there. You wanna be able to see the butter pieces because that creates your steam and that gives you a flaky pie crust. So look at that. It's 
easy work. And I just bring it together like this. I take it all out of the bowl. So here's our pie crust. And look at this. You see these butter pieces? That's all there. We work fairly quickly because we want to make sure we keep that together. Now we're going to separate it. I'm going to make two discs. The reason I'm making my disc round is because this is for a round pie plate. If we were making something that was square, then you would make your pie crust square because you don't want to have to work so hard once it chills to turn it into another shape. Now I'm just going to get some wrap. I have one piece. Put that there. Even if you're making one pie, it makes sense to go ahead and make a full recipe of this pie dough because it freezes really, really well. And now I press it a little bit thinner because I don't want to have to work so hard when I'm rolling it out. Okay, That is beautiful. I'm so proud of us. Look at that. All right. You see how quick that work was? All right, let's put it in the fridge. If you're baking right away, make sure to keep your pie crust in the fridge for 30 minutes. This will alleviate the shrinkage that sometimes we get when you roll it out too soon, the pie shrinks. Also, the butter needs to chill so you get that flakiness. That can go in the fridge up to three days. If you're going to use it later, you can put it in the freezer, and that can be up to three months. Just make sure that you wrap it really well. All right. It's been 30 minutes, which means I'm 30 minutes closer to a delicious pie. Let's talk about all of the different things that we can do with this pie crust. And of course, you can just roll it out and put it into a pie shell, which is perfect. The other thing that you can make, and you may not have thought about this, but I've done this in a pinch. I've rolled my pie crust out. I have cut it into little fingers or wedges, and that I can use as dippers. You can put cinnamon sugar or uh, lemon zest with sugar on top. You can flavor your pie crust. So there's so many things that you can do with this pie crust. Just have fun with it. Thanks for making pie crust with me today. Now go out and make somebody's day with a really delicious pie crust.